never tried to do it on this one. Okay, looks like we're live. So, hi, this is uh, Sarah, the numbers queen, and I've just had our new rental house cleared by the amazing Dennis Akan and from Europe, overseas trip. Europe trip, mm -hmm. going to France and was it Turkey? Germany, and Turkey, Germany, Turkey, England, and Holland. All the, uh, all a lot the of life places. of a, a, a gypsy healer. Yeah. And um, we're just going to talk quickly about what she found in our new house. And I just want to give you some background. So I take uh, housing incredibly seriously. It's so much more than just a place to live. It's literally a container for your energy and vibrancy for years and decades for some of us. So, um, you know, I do house numerology and I identified pretty quickly that I don't have a number three in my married name, Sarah Anderson, with my, um, there's a little bit more to it, but Sarah Anderson in short. Also, I have a little number three child, Charlie, um, who's growing really quickly at the moment. And my marriage to Chris is a number three relationship. Chris is a one, I'm a two so we have a three marriage so i was really looking for that three energy i knew that would really help me with writing with more joy um and with just a little bit more sense of that um, positivity in my life mm -hmm. and i can tell you it's not easy to get a number three house especially a pure three so i was looking for months this house finally came up we really had to compete to get it we really had to negotiate to get it one of the reasons we got it is i just trusted my instincts and when we drove up, a butterfly landed on our screen. Some of you might know one of the reasons I wanted to move to the Gold Coast was I had this um, beautiful late friend butterfly who was a 33 life path and she saw a lot of my um, achievements long before I did. So I just knew that butterfly landing was a sign. I actually said it to the property manager. I just took that risk. She might think I was crazy, but you know, she told me later that really um, solidified for her. We were, we were the right tenants. And I can tell you a lot of people looked at this house it is absolutely stunning. It has solar panels. It's it's seriously the best. Um, but yeah, we managed to to wangle it, and um, 24 days, 15 people later, we managed to move down from Brisbane with all a lot of stuff and two cute little kids. So thanks everyone who helped us. So anyway, you know, I just think it's really important once you get to a house to live in it for a while, but then also to get that outside perspective. Obviously, I've done my energy clearing, but you can brush your teeth. And you can also get your teeth done by a professional. And there's a huge difference. I can tell you, like, I've done a lot of work with this house, but there was still a few things I felt um, just that needed a lot of balancing, even just in the neighborhood. So I'm just going to talk to uh, Dennis just for a little while. And um, she's already given me the 20 minute rundown. This is just going to be really quick. So, hmm. Dennis, when you first came into the house, I guess, where did you pick up that some of the house was maybe a little bit imbalanced? Um, it was actually more even driving towards you guys because it's the first time I'm visiting Chris and Sarah today and the boys and there was something about the land I picked up on the drive and quite often the spirit of the land starts talking or reflects things so that was the first imprint I had or the first communication. It's a beautiful house and it's really the moment I tune in and sit down and go to maybe in the beginning through each of the rooms that I start to pick up information. And when I tune in, it's different to when I come and just have a cup of tea. Yes. There might be little yes. things that I start seeing in the corner. Mm. But, you know, when I start to really tune in, what I do, I connect to the spirit of the land and the spirit of the house, like I do in a reading, in a personal reading. And it's all about uh, appreciation. Actually, the first thing I felt was, even though there have been quite a lot of people living here and owning the place, different people, it felt like the house was a bit like a blank canvas. It was like a, um, like the house didn't really knew his own personality. It's like when we haven't grown up yet, when we haven't found our own strength or balance, it's the same with the, with the houses. It's no different for me to work with a person or with the house over the property so it felt like that it felt like oh okay so you know we sent the house some acknowledgement and the appreciation and the thanks for the place uh, to give my beautiful friends a roof over the top over the heads and then you know I see spirit animals pop up and I get information about yeah. different energies so, so you know, there's so much I, I kind of okay. write so down I might just 
um, because Dennis Dennis is very generous. So I'll just um, talk about a couple of things that really struck me. So this is a number three house and you you guys might know if you follow my work, this is a number three year for the planet. And the number three is the solar plexus. It's about your personal power. It's about creating your own own happy endings instead of waiting for someone to basically give you happiness, to give you permission for happiness. And this is a super interesting house because in order to get it, I really had to fight for it. We got rejected from two houses. We're self-employed. We have young kids, um, you know, maybe even a bit of, you know, racial discrimination going on there. But when I saw this house, I was like, this mm-hmm. is our house. And I had to fight for this house. And I'm so grateful that we got it, seriously. But, you know, a number three house heals your children and heals your childhood and I can tell you when I walked into this house my kids were so happy they started laughing and playing and I could feel that this house loves children and number three house is really good for imagination creativity play and laughter it's not so good for keeping things clean and organized and um, kind of like perfect uh, appearance I mean a three energy it's like an artwork that's always in progress and a lot of three life park people struggle with that too they really want to be together but there's always a hair out of place there's always a bit of a uh, i don't know a a baby vomit stain on their shoulder because they are doers and they are leaders and they are out there this house was repainted when we got in it was just all white and all the pictures had been taken down there was no hooks and it really did just feel like it had all the foundation and no makeup it was a bit of a strange experience it was really like walking backstage and it's like it didn't really know what it was here for i was kind of waiting for instructions so when dinner so came interesting that, up, yeah. that was really helpful because obviously chris and i are extremely theatrical we met on live tv when i was reading his palm and i said to him basically your life changes now and what i was talking about was his career but when we look back it's because we met and we're twin flames but anyway mm-hmm. back to the house so this house has really helped us with communication. It's really helped us to be more bold and adventurous. The door's always opening, which is kind of spooky, but also cool. But I called Dennis in because we had some issues. The biggest one was I just felt like like I couldn't quite get close to the house. And you pick a sense of distance. And that could be from the other people who lived here. It could be the neighborhoods. And just even not being acknowledged, really, because everything has spirit. And if you never acknowledged or thanked a place or give gratitude, uh, then, you know, it's flat. It's a flat energy. So all of you, you can do it at home very easily. You just say thank you. And the houses, or if you talk to your crystals, I always have a lot of crystals around. The moment you start communicating with them and giving them thanks, they will spark back at you. Yeah, and it's it's just like, you know, sitting on a bus just sort of with that expectation, almost like it's just like a really cold interaction versus really striking up a conversation with the driver. Like you just, the mm-hmm. house is gonna take you further. You're gonna take the house further. There's going to be mojo. So yeah, biggest yeah. thing, you know, so far is like, talk to your house, say thank you. This is what I love about you. This is what I'm mm, still working on and maybe give me some ideas on what you want there. Now you also said, That's yeah, right. it took you a while to connect to the spirit because maybe, who knows, right? Like who's lived in this house? They may not have believed that the house has a spirit. Just like when we work with children, some of us treat children like a blank canvas, don't we? But you know, when I, I guess I work with baby spirits, you know, I believe they come in with past lives. They don't come in um, all clear. They've already got some, uh, you know, little little dents and, and, and things where they need a little bit of love and care. And that's why I do, you know, kids numerology yeah. and stuff. Anyway, I'm taking over from Dennis. I want to show you some of the amazing stuff she uses because it is just beautiful. So let's have a look. So we've got, and I don't know if you can see this, let me just turn the screen around. So we've got, oh, that's my elfin chimes that I love. We've got her beautiful, um, are they called the fairy oracle cards? Yeah, the elemental being cards, yeah, that's right. So check this out. So you pulled those out when you came in? Yeah, when I started to sit down, first I go through each of the rooms and then I sit down to I got the reading for the house. So basically it's all, they're all meant for the house and the pan, it's talking about that you're finally lifting off the ground adventures are starting and then we got the queen of laughter bringing in all the lightness again and ease and grace and yeah all the different cards you want to tell tell you about them a little bit i mean that's that's the biggest thing isn't it but it's so funny so i am 38 and so that's funny how that came forward because I picked this house for myself. I could have picked uh, quite a few numbers to suit our family, including a number nine house or number one house. But I knew that um, I really needed the boost. And if I had the boost, the whole family would benefit. I'm 38. 38 is 11. My little son, Forrest, is a nine. 
And then look down here, this is so cute. You've got the one and you've got 19, which is also one. So you've got almost like 11, 11 with the nine. Yeah. <laughs> Powerful healing code. And then those were really interesting cards. So what did that one mean? The Smith, it's actually a card that uh, showed us. I asked the, the my card deck, what's the outcome uh, of this healing or the clearing for the house? What can we expect? And the Smith came in. So you see he's forging a wedding ring and it's about wholeness and completion to be finally recognized by the community around as well and to feel part of it again. That's what it is. And then the Sorcerer is actually the strongest card of the deck. It's about that magic that's happening now again from the roots upwards connecting to the beautiful house it's so magic can happen because yeah. I, I love these numbers firstly i have a lot of really powerful and helpful 31 fours in my life the heart healers and they're all stepping forwards in 2020 but 31 is also the vibration of father and i have found and already my father's visited me here and i haven't seen him in quite a long time this is a real house for healing and togetherness three energy is about teamwork not any one person being bigger or better than others and I have found this is a house where you want to be with your family, you want to spend time with your family. And like I said, that's why it's important to choose a residence that has a really compatible vibration with you. Otherwise, you can turn it to someone you don't recognize. 27 is cool also because it's my birthday and also the vibration of witch. So I'm a little bit partial to that card. Mm. And then Dennis also did some amazing work with, what's this called again? It's like a, uh, it's like a kalimba, but it's a bit different. This one is from Germany, actually. It yeah, some, something similar to a kalimba or thumb piano, some people call it. It's just a beautiful one. It has a nice resonant body. Are you able to play it even just a tiny bit? Sure. And so, the, the sound of this is just so unique. Yeah. Pretty is. sure my friends at Three Worlds in Burley have this too, but. What happens you know the moment you play any instrument or you can even uh, play tracks on your phone or on your radio if you say uh, you connect to the house and I always say okay I play this for you this is for for my uh, love for you and my gratitude the house really receives this as a thank you that's what I do and it's a transmission you know when I work it's a transmission coming through of different energies and we connect it to to a star system as well actually and then I use my sprays and in this case I don't work with a crystal grid but I had two crystals that I uh, connected to and their energies got embedded here as well one is a big very large Lemurian seed and the other one is the Andara that's connected to the earth especially this one so yeah beautiful so um, I'll just turn that back around so often when Chris, uh, when when Dennis does those crystal healing to me, there's a very elaborate grid. But this was really quite a focused um, a healing on the house. I was asking also Dennis why I keep breaking things on the floor. We mm -hmm. must have lost twenty or thirty items, including my phone yesterday, on this floor. And um, I, you did a really beautiful thing. So Dennis actually started like was it tracing like love heart yeah on the floor, and then she asked us to visualize the floor as you say flowers, flowers yeah meadow. like a meadow yeah and um she also did this amazing thing where she went through each of the rooms and did all the reiki symbols uh -huh. and love hearts and she said we can do that to keep the energy really really strong it's so simple it's just your intent and you can all do it you know you, you set the intent you put love into it and even by drawing with your fingers and just visualizing it you put love into the floor with your intent so yeah, the house feels completely different. Actually, when dinner started, I felt the need to lie down. As soon as she finished, I jumped up again, feeling like I'd had 10 hours sleep. And that happens a lot, actually. Like well, quite often when people are around while I do the house clearing, I do them remotely as well. And in both in both cases, I always get the feedback. People are actually lying down and sleeping and they wake up and go, oh, this is great. I feel amazing. Yeah, it's almost it's like good. it's like a do not disturb. It's like we go into do not disturb or flight mode like our phones. Yeah. Um, but I did, I woke up and I had this amazing visions that there was this old wooden ladder I was climbing and it was really moldy and really splintery and I couldn't go any further. Mm. And then this beautiful like new kind of almost like a crystal ladder appeared above me and I started climbing it. And that, mm. I, I know, I don't quite understand it now, but 
I just feel like moving to the Gold Coast and especially moving to this house, which is very much my dream house and what I've always pictured, it's really just completely opened up the, the roof of my um, belief in myself, my belief in the universe. And uh, I just wanted to bring up a couple more things, which is Dennis saw this really interesting uh, animal. She always sees animals in her um, blessings. Can you tell me about the birds that you saw? Uh, okay, so there was the there was a bird. It was a bit like two in in one. It, it was a mix between a seagull and a dove, a white dove that flew in. And so as soon as she said that, Chris was um, listening, and he said he just watched a video about one of the popes who was uh, mm. not that long ago who was actually let go from his job. Who knew who knew you could do that? And it happened just after this pope let let two peace doves free. And they were attacked by a crow and a seagull. And um, people who believe in magic and, and science believe that was um, the return of the old magic, whether it's the earth magic, the ancient magic, mm -hmm. to actually take um, take form again on the planet. And, um, you know, crows, did he say it's quite a strong druid? It is, yeah. Connected. Symbol. And then seagulls, you could say that maybe that's, you know, the mother ocean. Ocean. Yeah, and I yeah, just had tingles when you said ocean. it again as well. And you know, okay. it's like the earth is saying, you've had your fun time, humans. Um, you know, clearly it's not just all about like letting birds go and photo opportunities. We actually have some work to do. Yeah. Um, and yeah. And it's, it's a freedom, you know, the birds when they open their wings and you see them, it's all about peace and freedom. Um, you know, there's more to um, changing the climate than just... Um, you know, just token gestures. And mm -hmm. I have um, I've often seen this where Dennis will say something and we've actually just had that experience ourselves. So Chris had just watched that video, which yeah. was, I thought, quite cool. And it's, it's beautiful how when you do a healing, really invites everyone in the house, like if it's a house healing, um, to sort of have an upgrade at the same time. So what do you think the effect will be on our kids? Do you think they might go to oh, sleep earlier? Yeah, yeah, they will. Yeah, yeah. I think maybe not earlier, but they will have a better sleep. I, I think so. They I'm might have sure. some pretty trippy dreams it's because, tonight. It's actually because you change the energy of your environment. Of course, it has an impact on yourself, of course. Yeah, I yeah. mean, in, in the end, you know, we, we're actually quite fussy about our workplaces, aren't we? You know, we're like, I can't yeah. work here, I can't work there. But then when it comes to things like where we're going to sleep or where we're going to make our holy food, we're just like, oh, that's just how the house is. That's just what yeah. it comes like. And I'm like, wow, yeah. we need to apply the same rigor because that anyway, we, we're just starting to uh, finish this up. I just want to say thanks to Dennis for coming yeah. to visit us because where do you live again? Well, I got two home bases now this year. I, I got a Kofsaba and uh, Java Space so setting up again. It's a glamorous again. life, I tell it you. Is. Crystal I'm, Healing, who knew it could take him to so many beautiful yeah. locations in the world, meet so many people? I work actually between the Sunshine Coast and Melbourne. So I drive up and down the coast quite a bit, or sometimes use other, you know, use the flights. So. And then I have clients in the States and in, in Europe, and, and with the house clearings and business clearings as well, you know, people write me feedback that's incredible with they see light coming into the room and uh, people get more attracted to the business and many changes are coming in and, and of course anybody who's in the environment because it's like a transmission for the place of course you have an impact on anybody who walks in I find it always really interesting who actually walks in while things like this are happening yes, or but they just want a after. dose of it even that's animals right. and children will do it that's but it. I know um, when Dennis uh, cleared our last rental yeah there was a significant shift because she picked up actually a lot of kind of like almost like addiction energy in our neighborhood and that was a dramatic difference and we actually had a lot of clinics where we last lived a lot of health clinics it's interesting she picked up those energies hmm. um, and I'm just trying to think when she cleared my office in Sunnybank that was interesting because there was definitely some dodgy business going on in that room before I moved in. She mm. had to clear the carpet, remember? Yeah. It's like it was almost like that oh, energy. Yeah, was that's right. You guys would be amazed how much energy is is just, is left in carpets. That's mm. actually one of the biggest things to clean or maintain or mm. or refresh because um, it just kind of seeps into the carpet, doesn't it? Mm. Um, but, yeah, she picked up quite a bit of, bit of funny business there and when she cleared it, I, I tell you, within a couple of days, the bookings for my business tripled. And, you know, it's not like I broadcast I had an energy healing. I was still pretty skeptical at the time, but 
Um, I guess I felt better having people in that space. I knew they weren't picking up anything that wasn't my intention energy and their intention energy. Mm. And perhaps even I was more open. So all I can say is I've got my skates on now that Dennis has worked with this house. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. who knows what might happen next maybe we'll all grow little tiny pairs of fairy wings <laughs> that'd be fun <laughs> I'd love that you I'll send that. you a photo <laughs> so thanks everyone for watching yeah, um, this you. insight into what it's like to um, you know to use some of those spiritual practices in your in your amazing sacred temple of a home and you know house numbers really are important if you want to um, look up my article you can google mm. um, Sarah Yip uh, house, house numbers or house numerology like I said I specifically looked for number three because I know for me my solar plexus tends to be weak. I tend to be self-critical, too serious. I really needed a rebalancing there where I would be um, more joyful, more positive, more in tune with my inner child. And Dennis completely picked up all of that without me even talking to her about the numerology. So it's it's like we just tapped into the same source and speaking a different yeah. language. And as I Great. said, you know, you can brush your teeth, which is like, you know, doing your energy clearing and hygiene, but it's completely different to actually getting, you know, a dentist or dental technician to do the deep clean. It's always good to get another opinion. So thanks, Dennis. You're welcome. Amazing <laughs> to see you again. Yeah. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this life. I hope to do quite a few more with you soon. So take care of everyone. And I hope that you have um, discovered something today. Remember to say thank you to your house. Exactly. And yeah. really, you know, find a sacred place in your house, maybe even to build a little altar. Because when you really um, invest in that relationship, you will find amazing things start to happen next. Yeah. And Correct. do the same thing with your car. You'd be amazed yeah. how that um, changes do your everything. vibration. I do, mm. do everything. I yeah, talk basically, to everything. Just, just start talking yeah. to yourself <laughs> and the universe, <laughs> and, the and um, everything will start happening because angels are voice activated. So, thanks everyone for your support, and we'll all see you again soon. Yeah, so bye. 11 11 peace signs. Yeah. See you next time. Bye.